Hello everyone. Let's talk about one of the most awaited videos which my viewers are asking and it is about how can we create a simple chat bot in which we can do conversation with the bot based on our data and this bot you can utilize it for your online store or any e-commerce website where you have very limited set of products and the main idea behind this is the users or the viewers don't want to use any fancy fancy or heavyweight libraries they don't want to go for even embedding so in that case how can we create such a bot in just few lines of code and can have conversation uh, between bot and the user with the some sort of context management so let's see how we can achieve this using azure open ai so i have already written line a few lines of code i have already created an instance of azure open ai and deployed the model gpt35 turbo with 16k so that is the model I'm using here and here I have defined all my configuration in this configuration file. So it includes my endpoint, it includes my API type, my version, as well as my model details. So once that is done, you can also go ahead and do it in a similar way wherein a file will store all your credentials or the secret values and you can just read it using .NET ENV. So this part is doing nothing much apart from reading those secret values and then I am having a product list so this product list I have grabbed it from Yeni 95ZZ's medium post wherein she has just constructed this data and using for her chatbot so the same thing I will be grabbing here so what it is doing is it is having a data let's say woman clothing where you have t-shirt of $20 these are the available sizes these are the available colors Similarly, you have gowns, some dress, blazers, then we have men's clothing, we have accessories, footwear. So these are some sort of data which any store could have. And the most important thing to notice, if you will see, there are a lot many products, but the way it is arranged here is kind of the very neat way. So you must have created, let's say, woman t-shirt, price 20, size green. Uh, and, oh, sorry size small color green then again you would have said t-shirts price this sizes so rather than doing this this is the more elegant way of uh, I would say displaying the things or organizing the things so instead of let's say eight or ten rows it just fit in just four rows so if you have a store which is having limited types of products then you can just club it in similar kind of way wherein it will reduce your uh, tokens or the amount of text you are writing to display your products list so this is the main thing which I need to which I want you to focus on so just arrange your data in this way so that although data is more but still you can manage it very effectively okay so this is the data the hard-coded data which I'm having then I'm setting up the context now we are uh, dealing with the conversational app so it means here in this case GPT 3.5 turbo I need to define the roles so we can have system user and the assistant role so for the system role i'm just predefining the prompt which will tell the system that okay what you are or which kind of what you are so we are saying role is system and you are a shopping bot and assistant for my online fashion store named this your role is to assist customers in browsing providing information and guiding them through checkout process be, friend, uh, be friendly and helpful in your interactions we offer a variety of products across categories such as women's clothing men's clothing and all these feel free to ask questions ask customers about their preferences recommend products and inform them about any ongoing promotions and once all these are defined i am just supplying my product list which i have created over here so this is the context which i am setting as a system then this function is for making a call to our completion endpoint so what we are doing is we are creating a client using azure open ai we are passing these three things API key version and the endpoint and like I said these are defined in my configuration file that's the reason I am able to read using this then I need to make a call to create wherein we need to pass the messages so now the messages should contain everything whether it is a system message user message assistant so if you're supplying everything then it would be very easy for the bot to maintain the context so this is what the message is and then we need to define the model so this is the model which i'm grabbing it from configuration and it is gpt35 turbo 16k and once this is done it will just return the response from our llm well let's go ahead and 
take a look at this function collect message so what this function is doing it is taking the user input which is the question which user wants to ask then we are appending that to our messages because context is the one which is holding all the roles and the content so for user the content is content is just the user query then we are asking uh, to get llm to give us the response so we will get a response and then that response is nothing but the one which is told by the assistant and that's the reason we are assigning that response against assistant as a role so once this is done we will get our response printed which is nothing but the response which we are getting from the llm so let me quickly execute this cell okay i will execute this function as well then i will execute this and let's ask a question so let's say you are on that website where several products are listed and you want to ask something about or you want to inquire about t-shirts so we'll say do you have t-shirts and it is say yes we have t-shirts available we offer a variety of options in terms of sizes and colors how can i assist you in selecting the perfect t-shirt for you so let's say next question I'm asking is I'm looking for medium sized women's t-shirt. So now it should list great. We have medium sized t-shirts available for women. Here are the available colors for women's t-shirt in medium size, red, white, black, gray, all these. Please let me know which color you prefer and I will provide you with the options available in that color. And then user said I need gray one. Cool. Let's see what it will say. Perfect. We have great t-shirts available in medium sizes for women and here are the options. So please let me know if you would like to proceed with purchasing the great t-shirt or if you have any other questions. So let's go ahead and add one more item. I want to, I also want a teal color. Let's, let me remove this first. I also want, oops. Okay. I did some mistake. So certainly we have small size leggings in these various colors and let me know if you would like to proceed with purchasing the black yoga so i would say i want to i want teal color let's say i want oops teal color yoga leggings in small size okay so now it is saying it is of 30 dollars these are the size teal yoga leggings okay is there anything else i can assist you with so let's ask it to print a summary of what we are trying to order here so i'm saying create a table summary of my previous order so these are the two things which you must have remember so we ordered a great t-shirt of medium size and then we ordered a teal yoga leggings of small size and the color is teal and the total amount here is 50 dollars please note that these are the prices that these are the prices for individual items if you decide to proceed with purchase you can add these items to the cart if you have any more questions or you need assistance then let me know okay now i want to know how can i buy these two items so let's ask this question to the bot itself and hopefully it would help us okay so here are the few steps to buy your selected items please follow these steps click on the add to cart button for each item you would like to purchase and once you have added all the items you would like to buy click on the shopping cart icon so these are the general instructions click on the checkout button to proceed with the payment process you will be asked to provide your shipping address and payment details please fill in the required information review your order details one last time to ensure everything is correct and click on the place button to complete your purchase and once the order is successfully placed you will receive a confirmation email with the details of your order if you encounter any issues during the checkout process or you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am here to assist you. So you have seen that how we have executed this end-to-end -end flow starting from selecting the item, then displaying them onto the table, knowing the total amount and how to proceed with the billing. So this entire thing is done in a very seamless and just few lines of code. It's like I would say it's not, we have not written even a hundred line of code, but still we are able to achieve the required output. So, so if your business is small and you don't want to get into those embeddings or vector databases, 
then this kind of app could be a perfect fit for you. I hope you got an idea how to achieve this particular small use case. And in my next video, I will show you how can you perform this search on using embeddings, wherein we will be talking about mid-size business rather than just a small size. Thanks for watching.